talking to him before the game he said his he has no feel in the shot and the shots are flat and uh, that's why he doesn't you know he's been handling a ball to try to get the feel back and what he's done is changed his game a little bit he is operating more in the paint as he did in college at North Carolina against smaller players got away from that because he had bigger teammates in the NBA but he's gone back Jordan does not get a good pass from Longley has to fire it up and hit for three well Longley will throw that one to him every time right? hey, so, so much for a bad finger hey it was a line drive Jordan with a fake yeah after Jordan went around Robert Ory as if he were invisible that was a beautiful move by Tony Kukos because he could have forced the shot, finding Michael on that baseline. Bryant coming off a season's high 27 Friday against Houston, and he topped that Sunday with a 30-point effort against the Dallas Mavericks, 11 in a row before that slam by Elden Campbell. Great move by Jordan, and he scores. That was a classic Michael Jordan move going around. He's got seven, 19-9, Chicago. Jordan, great move inside, and Michael Jordan teaching Eddie Jones a few things out there. Now, Eddie Jones is an excellent defender, but you saw Michael gave him the entire repertoire. The head fake, the ball fake, and a step through. Dan Exel with a pretty nifty move himself, picked up and off by Robert Ory. And I think with Kobe Bryant in town, I think Michael Jordan had enough of an incentive. Kobe Bryant shooting and hitting with Michael Jordan in his face, so Bryant getting his first points of the game. Beautiful screen. So he leveled Michael off right there. Michael did not get his hand up. And if you don't get your hand up, you're neutralizing your size. Like a week ago against the Golden State Warriors and Kobe Bryant at 19 goes for the fake and fouls Michael Jordan. And you hold people down and shoot him. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Couldn't hold him down. That's Kobe Bryant. That was a backdoor move by the numbers. Hit the post, backdoor the guy from the wing. He's maybe better than a lot of backups in the NBA center. Kobe Bryant hitting a three from outside. He's got seven points and already a spectacular inside. Tony Kukos driving in. And a rebound by Kobe Bryant. Lakers with Kobe Bryant. Fisher inside. Fall away by Kobe Bryant. Is there anything he can't do anywhere on the floor? Yeah, that, that was such a difficult shot because he was moving. Luke pass in. Harper fouling Kobe Bryant. He tried to. Kobe Bryant goes out with three personal fouls, and as he does, Michael Jordan comes back in. Rick Fox had replaced Kobe Bryant, who scored nine points. Michael Jordan. There is uh, Eddie Jones and Kobe Bryant. Third in the league. 30% in threes and only 68% on the line. Jordan is fouled. And we talk about the free throw shooting. They are. And I think uh, the Bulls will have something to say. And they're saying something already in this game, leading 55 38, matching their biggest margin. Another offensive rebound by the Bulls. Great pass. Jordan from Pinkert. And the Bulls extend their lead. Bulls are making it look easy so far in this game. Michael Jordan with a spin move in the lane. He's got 25. Now they're in cruise control right now. They're playing with a terrific amount of confidence. Everything is their tempo. Robert Ory misses a three-point attempt. And the rebound by the matchup to them. Kobe Bryant is guarded by Michael Jordan. And the fall away by Kobe Bryant. That's the future. And even Michael Jordan will tell you that Kobe Bryant, the future of the NBA, you're looking at the present and the future. Right there. It is 69 to 49. A 20 point for his ministry. And Jordan with a move to the basket. We got a little show going on here between number 23 and number 8. Michael Jordan was a sophomore at the University of North Carolina. And Bryant missing from outside. And the rebound by Dennis Rodman. They took a 5-0 lead, and that was it for them. Kobe Bryant fouled by Jordan, and he'll go to the line. This replay of Kobe, you see, he's coming off a baseline screen. And then, now watch Michael. My, Michael's right on him now. Now this is just a quick move. Michael's right up in his face. Up the tip. Rockman almost tipped it in. And here come the Lakers. Kobe Bryant. Oh, 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 oh. Kobe Bryant, his father, Joe 
Jelly Bean Bryant played in the NBA, so he was well schooled in this league when he came aboard. Get the open floor and their quickness into the good three point shooting. Andy Jones got into foul trouble. Kobe Bryant with 16 points, 78 to 60. So Bryant, who came in, half a minute remaining in the third quarter. Michael Jordan with the short jumper, 29 for MJ. Well, the difference between the two teams. One team is staying within what they run. They're getting nice, high percentage shots in the lane. Plus 37% shooting by the Lakers as Kobe Bryant goes to the line with 3.6 seconds remaining in the third. Ron Harper picked when you When you think about how many times he scored over uh, 50 points a game. Kobe Bryant up and under and fouled by Luke Longley as the Jordan is a guarding. Kobe Bryant, five personal fouls on Luke Longley, who has established a career high for points tonight. He's just saying he needs some stops or some turnovers. No stop there. 31 for Michael Jordan. Chicago Bulls destined to exceed their offensive output. So there's no question that the way it's going that the Bulls was more of an offensive player before he came to Chicago. And he regained that again and an offensive foul is the call. Yeah, at that time, uh, uh, many of them from the free throw spike. Kobe Bryant with a fall away, and Jason Caffey the rebound. Chicago Bulls, this is how they play defense most nights. Michael Jordan gets two more, 34 for Jordan, and the Bulls playing on both ends if this is, as if this score were tied. That the Lakers are getting tonight at the hands of the world champ. Klein with his first shot. Oh, Elgin Campbell has it slapped away by Jordan. I love the way the Bulls have not given an inch, even with their big lead most of the game. Jordan trying to get it inside, but the Lakers get it back. Here is Kobe Bryant with a reverse layup. Great move by Kobe Bryant. See, he has the vision in that move to see that the guy was coming for the shot clock. 26, nothing to shout about. Little advice from the master right here. Well, the one thing about him is that, uh, sure, the Lakers call him showboat, showtime. They, they kid him uh, about the fact that he's a highlight film, but there is not. One Jordan looking for room and hits the jumper. 36 points now for Michael Jordan coming off a big game against Phoenix on Monday night of 31 after establishing a career high of 23. Kobe Bryant with his second three-point basket now with 24 points. Turn it over to the Lakers, and here's Bryant. Wow! Let's get the slam dunk back into the All-Star game after that one, huh? I tell you, that was impressive. That was impressive. <laughs> He's impressive. <laughs> you know Michael Jordan is impressed with that. Well, every time that he gets an opportunity from here to the end, that's spectacular. We will not have it with 2.08 to go. First points of the game for Joe Klein. Kobe Bryant fires and hits a three by Bryant. He's got 29 points, and he is one point away from his... Cleveland playing excellent basketball. Cleveland doing it with four rookies out of their first six players. Charlotte, they've got firepower. Absolutely. This is a dynamite, dynamite Eastern Conference. And the dynamite player at 19 years of age, Kobe Bryant, now with 32 points. But he can do it. Game is over, and the Chicago Bulls send a message to the L.A. Lakers, although Kobe Bryant has sent a message to everyone else that he is the future. Michael Jordan with 36 to lead the Bulls. All right, it's not as though at this stage in his career that he needs to make statement games, but Michael Jordan, this is a pretty good statement for, uh, for you tonight. Well, I don't know about a statement. I think, uh, you know, I was just trying to go out there and do my job and see, what, you know, see how we can come out and, and, and fight a, a team that's very young very agile they were without a key player but we were able to hold our balance and you know more or less control the tempo and not, not let them outrun us we got their big scores in the foul trouble early in the first half we were able to take advantage of that your evaluation of the young fella Kobe I remember I was young like that uh, he certainly has a lot of skills and you see that and but he's got a lot of confidence and I think it's just a matter of time for him you know he, you really realize how good he is he's actually he's in his second year of college and uh, well, certainly he's learned a lot he's in he's in a top he's in a top league actually and he's certainly going to learn a lot more he's going to be a lot better if he keeps improving any uh did you impart any wisdom to him throughout the game 
Oh, yeah, he asked me one question when we were down there. Uh, you know, bent down to half court, and he wanted to know how, when I turn around on my jump shot, how to lock the defense or how to get the feel the defense. I told him you should feel the defense with your legs. Once you feel the defense with your leg, you more or less got to feel where the defense is, and you can take advantage of that. So you 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 don't have a problem giving away trade secrets during a game? Not at all. You know, it's just a matter of you know. I think that that enhances his his basketball skill, and you know, uh, someone did that for me, and certainly I I'm not against giving him any kind of you know hints about his game if he asks. I'm certainly not gonna. You know, come out and, and try to, you know, give him too much information. The kids, he's learned a lot in, in a short amount of time he's been in the league, and believe me, he's going to continue to learn. I just like to wonder what he would have done in a Carolina blue uniform, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks a lot, Michael. Let's go back to Dick and Hubie.